Hey guys, my friend Kira coming to you for Dark Avenger Inc. Plus. How's everybody doing out there? Um, if you watched my normal, you know, comic review, you know that um, I got some exclusive titles here on Dark Avenger Inc. Plus. And of course, one of those titles is this Jin Rise uh, for IDW. Uh, this is issue number three. And I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to give my, my review on this and how I like this. Um, uh, once again, you know, the writer is Awa, and Tony uh, Bastello is still doing artwork, art in this as well. Um, Jin Rise number three. Um, this was interesting because this kind of tells the story of one of the, the, um, the, uh, the alien, the, that, the Kibrani, um, the, their, their best warrior, they give like his origin or his backstory in a sense. The last, in the last issue we saw the, the Cabrani brought down their best warrior. And his name is, uh, La, La Hassan, La Has, Sad, La, Sa, La Hassan Brim. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, and we kind of see his backstory and where he comes, you know, what makes him tick? What is his motive? Why he's considered the Cabrani's best warrior and everything like that? Because he's brought them a lot of victories. The Cabrani, like I said, are like locusts. They conquer a lot of worlds. Um, and that's pretty what this is. This is just a, a backstory of what he is. And in this issue, we see them dealing with um, an individ a race... Um, known as the Capenrum, I believe they're called, that's what they're called, and um, they seem to be like, they're very much pacifists, they don't really attack people, you know, they're peaceful, loving aliens, but um, the, the Cambrani are war-torn, they're, as, as the oracle of their, of the Capenrum's um, race said, the Cambrani are, are basically, uh, like, they're a virus, and we just really get to in depth to see what's you know what uh, Brim. I'm just gonna call him by his last name. Is is why he you know the way he is. Like why does he you know he he just attacks. He, he just kills. You know there's really no he follows orders, but he really has no say of his own. Like he just he just kills. He just goes into depth of just you know just killing people and things like that. Um, and, you know, I was just really in, intrigued by what I saw from this. I'm just like, so you're just a lap dog, dude. Like, you, you do what you're told, and that's it. You don't question that. Um, and he's just, he's just killing people, and he's just, he's just killing these, these peace-loving aliens, you know, but they won't give up their secrets to him. They're, they're, they're willing to die for it. And they, re and then, you know, Grim realizes, okay, I need to go, and he gets to see... As you can see here, he gets he gets to see their oracle. Then the oracle tells him that you know you Cabrani are not a righteous race. You're not. You you're you're on the you are a blight on the universe. You're a cancer. And he goes on the the oracle goes on to tell him, but even a virus has a you know as a as a cure, and the Cabrani will meet its match one day. He's, and he's going to tell about the jinn. Um, and things like that, and of course, something stronger than you, and everything like that. And, you know, unfortunately, what it looks like Cabrani does, uh, what Brim does in this was a little bit, a little interesting. It was like, wow, he didn't do that. Um, but other than that, you know, it was just an interesting take. And I'm, now I'm hoping they, they, I think, well, personally with me, I wish they had a leftist kind of like maybe in another issue or maybe we did this before because I really want to know what's going on now especially but I think it was okay to see you know um, in a sense who this the their the Cabrani's uh, top warrior really is but other than that it was really in really good I still have been, have been enjoying this I think there's only what two more issues left. This is just a mini-series. Um, I, th I thought it'd be like a real uh, ongoing series, but 
no matter what, IDW still does a very good job. Um, this is probably what IDW is probably what my second favorite um, independent company. But uh, other than that, it was really good, very much indeed. Um, but yeah, it was good. But other than that, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, this. Um, as always, this is Mom Burning Kid coming to you from Dark Avenger Inc. Plus. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you guys next time, um, as always. So you guys, take care. Peace, fun, love, stay tuned, keep it real, guys. Ta-ta for now.